So hey guys, good afternoon. How you all doing? Welcome back again to another video. Okay, yeah, guys. If you're joining us for the first time, you're welcome. You're definitely on the right channel. Okay, do want to click that subscribe button, turn the notification bell, also that you get notified anytime I upload a new video. A lot of people misunderstand this word submission. There are times that submission becomes subjection or oppression. That's what we want to discuss about today. First and foremost, when her spiritual life threatened is no longer submission or subjection or oppression, as you might like to call it. As a man, you are supposed to understand that Christ is the head and the head of your wife as well. So any of your actions that tampers with a relationship with God is kind of subjection. In a case where a lot of men prevent their wife from going to church, like prevent their wife from joining any department in church or participating in anything that is happening in church. Reason you are my wife, you are supposed to submit to me. Like, some people will say, okay, instead of having issue, instead of us having issue or arguing back and forth, okay, let me stop going to church. Even if she decides to, okay, abide by what you are saying, I believe and I hope that you shouldn't be the one that is making her spiritual life, her spiritual calling to die. Because you are, by so doing, you are coming in between her and her God. You might want to check yourself to know if you are threatening your the spiritual life of your wife. Another time that submission becomes subjection when her health or her life is at risk. Guys, you know some men, eh, their wife will just put to bed. Like, down there is still healing, it's still sore. And they will come and be demanding for mercy with their wife. You, when the wife is not giving in to your request, you'll not be like, mm, I am the husband. The Bible says, I submit to your husband. The organ cuckoo key her. Like Kuku Kiha, you should know where to draw the line. Ephesians 5.25 also said that husband, love your wife. Even as Christ loved the church. Love that God had for the church is expressed when he gave. Like he so so loved us so much that he gave his only begotten son. So if you are lo if you love your wife to the point of okay, you want her to submit to you, you should be able to let go of some of your selfish desire. Like I'm, I'm talking on this aspect of people that just put to bed. And you see some of them beating their pregnant wife. When you know that at that moment her life, her health is as risk. All you care for, eh, I'm the head of the house, you ought to submit to me. It's not always working like that. So, and I want to use this medium, this Christmas period, like to kind of urge men out there. As long as you're seeking for submission, make sure that her spiritual life is not threatened. And make sure that her, her life is not as risk where you're seeking for submission. If not, it's no longer submission, it's subjection and oppression, okay? So, moving on, guys, another time that I feel that submission because subjection is when her purpose and dreams are threatened. Like, you are the bridegroom. A lot of men don't understand that the reason why they call you bridegroom is to groom your wife. You ought to groom her talent, her purpose, her vision. Like you are there to groom your wife, okay? So when you are you are not grooming your wife and you are making her dream, her purpose, her aspiration that like to die simply because she's trying to submit to you or okay? is no longer submission but subjection like oppression of the higher soul that our purpose is crying out for expression the whole world i mean is waiting for the manifestation of that purpose that god puts in her so help her out by being the bridegroom which you're supposed to be okay so at every point whatever thing you are doing as long as you're seeking or uh, uh, seeking for submission from your wife check very well and make sure that it is not oppression you are not oppressing your wife in any way. Yeah, another time I know submission because subjection is when her happiness is at stake. Like, I know a lot of people, they'll be telling you, eh, whatever makes you happy, do it. Some people will say, eh, your happiness lies in your hand. Do this, this. Your happiness, this, your happiness. You are the, old, they are the one that's supposed to make yourself happy. Yeah, many people are no more happy in life simply because they are, okay, living according to the dictates of their husband. They are trying to play the good wife by, oh, so, like, submitting to... The the, the, the the bidders of the husband or God, when her submission to you is depriving her of her happiness it's no longer submission it's subjection like you are oppressing this daughter of Zion when you are making a decision when you are making a request from your wife also check the sanity of your wife concerning that 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 decision also make sure that the your wife's peace of mind is not threatened because of the uh, 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 decision you make as the head of the family or for sex of any sort, like any time, and she's not happy about it. You might want to reconsider. You know, some guys and uh, you like the kind of funny, funny move like they will tell their wife to do. You just imagine, mm -hmm. you'll be looking. 
looking at it like, ah, ah, is it not this brother that I met in church? How come he knows all these things and all that? So what I'm trying to say in essence is that if you are requesting for okay, a particular position of sex, like, and she's not happy about, or maybe she's not in the mood, or like I said, down there is still healing, and her happiness, like, is at stake. You might want to check yourself, okay? Guys, I believe and I know you are getting value. Hit that like button, okay? It kind of helped me. I do know the kind of content you like seeing on my channel, okay? Festive season, I mean, if you're not happy with me, I don't know. I don't know when you have to be happy with me, okay? Then if you're watching me and you're not yet subscribed, you might want to use this opportunity to hit that subscribe button, okay? You're welcome to this wonderful family. Let me recap what I've said in case you check this video to this point. Well, there are times that submission will become subjection. You might want to check yourself. If her spiritual life is at stake, it's no longer submission but subjection. If her life, her health is at risk, you are subjecting her. If the decision you are taking is not allowing her purpose and dream to come to manifestation, or God, you are suppressing your wife. And if the decisions you are taking as the head of the family is depriving your wife, her happiness, her sanity, her peace of mind, it is no longer submission. It is subjection, okay? And if you are considering your wife in some of the things that you are, in some of the decisions that you are making in life, you will find that submitting life freely without any grudges of any sort. So don't come and be and be rubbing each other like I'm the man of the house. You blame it on the Bible that said a uh, wife, uh, wife submit to your husband and all that. Remember that a portion of the Bible also said that husband love your wife like as Christ loved the church. Christ love as I still believe is unconditional. So as you are vying for as you are vying for submission mission also make sure that you are loving your wife according to the standard of christ okay force your opinion using submission you know a lot of guys when they want to do something they will hide under wife submits to your husband and be doing it so make sure you carry your spouse along okay i don't believe that marriage is to be enjoyed and not enjoy like you guys are partner together you you stand against the dart of the enemies okay with that we've come to the end of this video thank you for tuning in thank you for stopping by thank you for your wonderful time okay i remain your girl and several rose i'm sure we'll see you guys in my next video tomorrow Till then, remain kind and remain safe to one another. Remember to show love. Christ is the reason for the season.